Hey guys, this is Dorian Day and welcome to Massive in Depth number 2. Today we're going to be going over Massive's internal routings. Now this might seem like an odd place to start a series on Massive, but the reason I'm doing it is because the manual starts here. My instinct would have been to explain the oscillators first, but I think there's some value in seeing where all your audio is going before moving on to the other parts. It's kind of like looking at a roadmap of your sound to understand how the parts interact. Now, if you take a look at Massive's routing page, you see a lot of blocks connected by lines. This is a representation of Massive's internal signal flow. On the left, left we have our audio sources, oscillators 1 through 3, and then noise, as well as the feedback block, which we will ignore for now. Next, each OSC is a, has a B next to it, which stands for bypass. If you click on the wire, it moves to connect to it. You can only have it selected on one noise source at a time. Now, if I turn off all of the filter volumes, I have all of the amps on, you have no sound. See if I turn on the, if I turn on the filter, you can hear it. But if I use bypass, I can hear the sound come out after the filters. And you can hear oscillator too, which I'll change the waveform. Got to click. Three. And then noise. And then if you look um, right here, you can see that bypass connects either to FX1, 2, or EQ. So if I select FX1 and I turn on the phaser and turn up bypass, you can hear the noise is phased. But if I click FX2, it's unaffected. So you can control where in the um, final output section the um, bypass comes to. Next, you'll notice that there are seven, grouping, uh, seven groupings of these little I and S 1 and 2, and these are the insert effects. Um, it's where these inf effects right here, like the big crusher, insert into the signal flow. You can only have one or two on at any one time. If you click two somewhere else, it moves. And there's seven of them. You can put it before either one of the filters, after either one of the filters, between them when they're in serial mode, after them before the after the filters before the amp, and also in the feedback loop. Finally, there's the feedback line. Uh, the feedback line grabs audio from some section of the synth and routes it back to the beginning of the signal chain. Uh, this emphasizes the signal, which uh, can be com become chaotic very quickly, but it's also like a really powerful sound design tool inside of Massive. Uh, if you look around, you'll notice that there are four feedback points here, 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 and here. And these are all the places that the feedback can grab from. Uh, this wraps up Massive in depth number two. Thanks for watching.